story of the Naomi Oasis originated in Paris. It started out with the Recyclery, a truly original organization promoting all forms of responsibility, environmental, for example, through training programs, workshops, or events. With Veolia's ongoing support from the very beginning, the Recyclery has been a great success. So, both partners wondered how they could draw inspiration from this experience and adapt it to other areas. In April 2016, the Middle East and Africa Veolia team visited the Recyclery. They were immediately won over. For this team, it was obvious. A project like this would be a perfect fit for Niger in Niamey. Shortly after, it was presented to Dr. Lala Malika Isufu, the Niger First Lady. She offered to be the project's sponsor. But the Recyclery couldn't get involved in this type of project in Africa, so another partner had to be found. In the summer of 2016, Veolia met Empower, a social venture supporting women entrepreneurs around the world. They hit it off immediately. Veolia and Empower decided to build a project together, uniting environmental awareness and women's entrepreneurship training. But how would this project be financed? July 2016. The SEN, the operating water company in Niger, decided to get involved in the project with Veolia in Africa by financing its development and providing technical support. In collaboration with the SEN, Empower conducted a diagnosis and a feasibility study. In Niamey, they met a multitude of local stakeholders working in the field. They would then go on to form the Niamey Oasis ecosystem. The Niamey Oasis? Yes. The project now has a name. In February 2017, the young volunteers for the environment lent their support to the Oasis. A location was found soon after. Training courses, incubation programs, workspaces and events. We'll need to now set up the site to accommodate all these activities. But who is going to manage the Oasis on a daily basis? March 2017, Empower met Abdul Sisse, Extremely enthusiastic about this project, he officially joined the Oasis in October. But first, to be able to manage this very special place, he completed his training at Empower and at the School of Third Places at the Recyclery. June 2017. Great news for the Oasis. The Veolia Foundation has agreed to fund the launch of the operation. Fall 2017. Meeting with Diaz Chris, artist, musician, decorator and gardener. He has been actively involved in the development of the Oasis. In addition, other young Nigerian talents have joined him to make a valuable contribution. In early 2018, the Nyame Oasis opened its doors. Many thanks to all those who participated in this collaborative project. Welcome to the Nyame Oasis.